guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm taking you with me to metro center i haven't been there in a while to say it's somewhere that i i loved to go i haven't been there in a while so to be honest since i've moved here which this is gonna be my fourth week since i've relocated to a new area this is gonna be my first time going there since i've relocated here and i haven't been even in a while even before i relocated to this area but nonetheless i'm popping out this morning to do like a quick little christmas shop um to get like a few gift items cards etc um nothing too much um it's pretty much like past 10 already i want to be back home by about two three o'clock in the afternoon um so it's gonna be just real quick in and out in and out of the stores and then back home so yeah i'll show you guys little bits here and there i mean i've taken you to metro center so many times and i've taken you there so many times during the christmas season so there's not going to be you know like much to show but if there's something interesting that i think you should see i'll definitely show you guys see you i'm not joking oh my guys them them love me since oh six i've been writing this story i know the og but if you ask them them know me i know they blow trees so they know me me know me music shows me just no this and no peace i they love me but them never lonely sexy ladies come my feel me slowly Cause you 
can never do my mind. But there is no sacrifice. Everything was taken. You had to make it. Vibe killer. Me and no go take shit. Vibe killer. Okay guys, so I'm gonna start my Christmas vlog right here. It's Christmas Eve. Um, I literally just came from church and I haven't really done a lot of videos for the holiday, etc. But nonetheless, today is Christmas Eve. We went to church today. It was good. Um, no, I'm back home, so I'm gonna quickly make something for dinner. Nothing too serious, because I'm gonna try to do like a big meal tomorrow. So I'm not doing much today. It's just gonna be something simple. Probably using some leftovers, some pizza, something. And then tomorrow would be like big proper cooking, because I can't do it today and tomorrow. It's only me and Caitlin. There's no point. So what I'm gonna be doing today is to try to prep some stuff, um, including my meat. From today I know some people probably prefer it but this is just me getting the chance to do mine so don't judge me but yeah I'm gonna do that today and tidy up the house a bit because I've been out yesterday I didn't get to do much and yeah so I'm gonna tidy up the house a bit and prepare my meat and that's pretty much gonna be it and then I'll be on Christmas Day Boxing Day so I mean it has it has been a while since I've had like a long weekend for the holiday. I should be in Jamaica. <laughs> because that's where I would rather be for the Christmas. I haven't spent Christmas in Jamaica in such a long time. No, I actually miss you know spending Christmas in Jamaica because I think it just feels different when you're home. But yeah, nonetheless, we're here. So let's get cracky kid you know have pizza. <laughs> let's just steal like a piece of peep chew. Come down. Wait there, wait a van. <laughs> anyway. So let's get started guys. So I know it's Sunday, but we ain't doing anything on tonight. I'm gonna get this from a lot some light guys. in the oven so it's like pre-made um and it's just meant to go in the oven for it says eight to ten minutes it's not frozen so eight to ten minutes and we'll have a meal while i prep for tomorrow because tomorrow um let me turn it down. tomorrow i want to do some pork um so I don't even know 
go home when I do it yet, guys. So it's been a while since I've done like a cook with me video. Sunday dinner in the oven. Uh, we're not fussy. We're not really not fussy. It's still in parts of the meat. Let me show them what we're going to season up. In the bag. Yeah. So I'm going to season my pork from today. I forgot to take the chicken from the, the fridge. The pork is already thawed. Um, I forgot to take out the chicken. Let me show you the pork. I guess when I cook tomorrow, I'm gonna have food for a whole week. So this is a pork shoulder, it's like nice, full of lean. Yeah. Oh, let me show you what I bought yesterday because I have this grand idea. I don't know how I'm doing the pork yet, but I plan to like put it in a slow cooker because I think that would be the best. So yesterday I bought a slow cooker, right? I've never used one before, mind you. So this is gonna be my first time using it. So it's electric. So this is the plug. Um, the settings on it's like off, low, high, and I think it, it can keep stuff warm. So this is the cover. Um, this is the part that you'll put whatever you want to put in. I think it's like a three liter. Um, and then I guess like when you finish, this is when you this take this out to like wash this. This is what the inside looks like. So yeah, so this is my slow cooker. This is what I plan to put the pork shoulder in to slow cook because I want it to be soft and succulent and tender and you know, like yeah. So this is what I plan to put pork in. And then I will do some, maybe some baked chicken and some fried chicken. So I'll pop some in the oven and then I'll fry some in the air fryer. Um, I haven't cooked rice and peas in ages. When I cook rice and peas, <laughs> I can't even remember the last time I cooked rice and peas. I really don't remember. I don't remember the last time I cooked rice and peas because it's just us. So sometimes, to be honest, there's really any like real need to be doing certain things so we just pass you know we just cook some white rice and that's us so we're gonna be doing that with some rice and peas and just coleslaw oh and i brought broccoli because caitlin loves loves broccoli and i can find some other vegetables but yeah, so that would be dinner tomorrow. Kalalo? Um, uh, Kalalo. I'm not Kalalo. Yeah. Oh, that's... Oh, that's so incredible. Anyway, yeah, so that's that. And I think I might make some carrot juice. I haven't made that in a while. So. We're not actually doing carrot juice. Uh, anyway, I plan to probably make some carrot juice. Because um, of course... I'm not in Jamaica, so I'm not privileged to have the good sorrel and fruitcake and all these things. But nonetheless, I'm not really, I will cook, but I'm not going to tell you that I'm one that loves baking. So it's not really a territory that I, I um, delve into. Uh, I think one year I said I was going to bake fruitcake and I was going to film it. It was a disaster, so that didn't make the light of day. <laughs> that didn't, actually, no, the cake did taste nice, but I didn't like the look of them, so I'm like, no, can't put that on the internet. Oh, the, the cookies. Huh? The cookies. No, it was cake. I made cake on it. Oh, pass me like a Christmas trip and I put it on my head. See, that's the way you say. Are this are mine? So, where's mine? Get mine, it is somewhere upstairs. So I'm gonna put on my little thing on my head because you know this Christmas spirit. But yeah, so guys, I think I'm gonna turn the light on because it's getting a bit dark. Once things get dark from like 
has four here in the afternoon. So I'm gonna put the light on so I can open this window a little bit. Yeah. So some of this is just gonna be you seeing me doing things, but I'm gonna take some of the talking out eventually because this is gonna be just like a long ass video if I don't do that. So I'm gonna put like so today it's gonna be like Christmas preparations, getting into the Christmas spirit. Yeah, this is us. I don't want to have a time for you. I need to see. 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 I Instead of not to make it too long and drawn out and stuff like that, so it's gonna be just you just seeing some of what we're doing, yeah. And I'll put music over it. So, yes, guys, let me find some Christmas Carol. Um, I like this one, Santa. Tell me, I don't know why I love it. But it's it's, it's, I mean, I just like the rhythm. Ready? Santa, tell me if you really do. that until tomorrow because I realized that I need to wash all the filters for the vacuum so I just did that um so now I'm gonna get started with my need I need some space here so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna shift some of these things so that I can have some more space here so I can prop you up and show you what time of day it is okay so yeah or maybe we should move over to the sink area. So, um, 
when I figure it out, I'll come back. All right, guys. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna wait until I've just washed some dishes. I'm just gonna wait on those to drain, air dry, move it from there so that I'll use the sink area for the meat as opposed to bring it over here on the counter. So I want to use more of the sink area that's over that side for the meat preparation. So I'm just gonna wait until those air dry so that I can move them out of the way and then I'll have that space over there. I do have a lot of counter space, but I don't want the meat over this side. So that's what I'm gonna do. So in the meantime, I'm gonna do a couple other bits. Um, I've got a couple other tidying up to do, like a few more things that I need to put in place. Cause I mean, this whole moving, it is, it has been quite hectic and trying to get a place together and habitable has been a lot. You know, especially because it's been loan. I mean, yes, Kaylin is there, but uh, it's not like she can really do much in terms of where I want this, where I want that, and stuff like that. So yeah, I'm just gonna have a little drink, um, and get cracking. I'm gonna have some Baileys. Do you want some, guys? We we'll get some Baileys. this that i'm gonna use as some powder seasoning it's the nando's peri peri rub it's a medium flavor and then there's also smoky barbecue so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna like mix these two together and i got some old bay seasoning is this different from the other one that i bought yesterday right so I have this one that says a seafood, chicken, meats, vegetables, and more. Um, this is pretty much the same, but this one says hot. So I guess this one is spicy. So what I might do is that I might use a little bit of each because then I don't want to use all of this because I want some spice and then I don't want to use all this one because you know i'm cooking for caitlin so and then i don't want her saying it's too spicy she can't manage it and um, the peri peri it's gonna be a bit spicy also so yeah so i'm gonna also have some hot jerk seasoning this is grace um so yeah this was packaged by grace foods so yeah what else am I using? I've got crushed chili, so I might use some of this. Um, let's see, do I have any more seasoning? Well, I've got some chicken seasoning, so I might put this on the chicken. Do I have any other seasoning? Mm. I got some ginger ginger powder so yeah i put some of that in also i think i got thyme so we'll put some thyme in also <laughs> so we'll use some thyme and i think that's pretty much it for seasonings for me usually this seasoning tends to have salt so i don't usually add more salt i just let whatever is in the seasoning do for salt um so yeah i don't necessarily add more add more salt to it i've got some cajun or cajun 
seasoning so i might add a little bit of this to it so yeah that's it for my seasoning merry christmas everybody okay good morning so that meat or those meat that i was meant to season up yesterday evening or last night never work out <laughs> i don't know sometimes you don't realize how tired you are um and there's no cure for sleep but sleep so i'm up this morning it's now minutes to 10 but nonetheless i'm gonna get it done so we're seasoning the same day we're cooking the same day that's just about it that's just reality right now i was just too tired last night so i'm gonna get that done no i'm not gonna talk much i'm just gonna film and speed it up when you're watching this so yeah i'm not joking all my guys them them know me since oh six, I've been writing the story. I know the OG, but if you ask them, them know me. I know they blow trees, only know me, me know me. Music draws me, just know this and no peace. I get lonely, but I'm never lonely. Sexy ladies, come away, feel me slowly. I'm gonna figure out how to get this slow cooker going. I am about to 
start the cooking. Okay. So let me bring my stuff over here and set up. And let's get started because it's almost midday and I haven't started cooking. I mean, I've prepped the meat, but yeah, I'm just going to start cooking now. so that it doesn't stick even though I'm gonna put a little bit of water in right what's up let me start it off on high so that it can heat up quickly let me allow it to heat up and see how that works right I haven't had a cup of coffee all morning, so I think I have space. Can put the um. Let me shift this a little bit. Let me shift this over. One sec. This thing is loaded. Right. Shift it over a little bit so I can have a little bit more space. Oh. Right. Have a little bit more space right there. Put this in a little bit. I guess. This part will be hot, so I have to be careful. Um, yeah, it smells like it's getting hot. Hmm. I might be hot. Make a cup of coffee. So I'll bring the kettle back because I have space. So I'll pop the kettle here. Oh, I also feel so wet. Go, baby, 
to my body, so
Caitlyn made cupcakes. She said they look like Smurf. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna shape them up nicely when we're done and put some buttercream on top of them. So big up to the baker, Caitlyn. <laughs> Alright. Okay, so this is our baked chicken right here. Um this is the rice and peas. We eat some already, not the ox. Um making some gravy right here. Nice and thick. This is actually from the the pork. So this is like pork gravy. Nice and thick. Um and this now has become my pulled pork because it's so nice and soft so i've like pulled it apart so this is our home style pulled pork it's so soft and juicy and nice and the fried chicken going on inside here so that's fried chicken in progress and we're gonna tidy up get this place together and have our dinner okay so this is from me toiling in the kitchen all day this is what the plate is looking like i'm gonna have cranberry juice we don't have sorrel but this is what dindin is looking like caitlin just boring so she don't want to hear anything <laughs> Okay, happy holidays again, guys, from my family to yours. Careful. Okay, so, this is for P. This is for me. Right? And this is for Caitlin for all the shopping that I've been doing. I don't like to wrap gifts, so I just got one big bag and I just put everything in so she can unbox her stuff. Hey. Hey. <laughs> okay. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Huh? Yes, thank you. Okay. So. I'm gonna take things out of my socks. Okay. Ah! <laughs> oh my god! You know, I love purse. As for what one person is doing with so much purse, I don't know. And that is me. But, um, like a, an extra to the collection is never too much. I absolutely love this. This is from River Island. It's so nice. Oh, so yeah, this is my perfume from River Island. Yeah, absolutely love that. Should I s open it and smell it yeah. right now? It smells nice to me. Okay. Um. The, 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 the packaging is really nice. Usually, I mean, anything that comes like in a nice black sleek kitchen mm, this is really good it's really nice absolutely love this so this is really nice absolutely love that British. for myself huh? British. <laughs> okay and I got a necklace with the letter P, isn't that cute? Oh, I love And that's me. So, I mean, to be honest, Christmas is all about, it's a thought that counts, spending time with your friends and your families and stuff like that. But you know, sometimes, you know, we sometimes go the extra mile just to show um, your loved ones how much you care by maybe just giving them something. It's the thought that counts, okay? So that's for me. And over to Caitlin. I'm not joking.
Me and my guys, them, them love me Since 06, I've been writing this story I know the OG, but if you ask them, them love me I know they blow trees, so they know you You can't imagine, no, let me turn this round. A few years ago, look at my little teeny, teeny baby. Look at this now. Hmm? I strained my lap, my, my, my leg, <laughs> my leg out for broke off. Look at this. Hmm? All they need is TLC, tender love and care, prayer, hmm? Hmm? prayer, hmm. and the village. Thank God for my little village that helped me to raise this little one. You know, there are times when I wasn't it was all... a village. I mean, a village is like my network of mm -hmm. people. You know, I, I haven't always been there because of work or some other obligation or not. And to be honest, like, if I'm being really honest, since, since 2016... This is the first time I'm actually having a whole Christmas day with Caitlin since 2016. Because 2016, 2017, 2018, 2019, I was in the Bahamas. And I've never spent Christmas outside of the Bahamas because I've always been working. You know, when you're an essential worker, that's almost unavoidable. You either have to work Christmas day or Boxing day. Um, and then 2020, I had just migrated to the UK. 2021, Caitlin was here, but I think I had to work half day. No, I think I work all day that day or half day, I think half. maybe half day. Then 2022, I still had to work half day again. So I think what I had chosen to do was that I took the morning off and then I work late. 
but glory be to God. Fast forward to 2023, I have the all day off. And God is good. Amen. I wanna be in your life.